Hello and welcome to the first in a number of videos that I will be doing on charting. Why am I doing more than one? Well quite simply it's quite a big subject so a five minute video won't do it justice and it'll be a bit of a rush job if I try and cram all that information into a short five minute video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the charting package telling you what's in it and maybe giving you some tools some basic tools that you can use for basic analysis purposes. So let's get straight into it. How do we access the charts? Well first and foremost there's a charting icon up there which you can click on and it opens a chart or if you know the type of chart that you want to look at or the particular stock that you want to look at a chart of go straight to the heat map, right click on the ticker in question and select charts for that particular stock. So in this case I've chosen Barclays. I'm going to display the toolbar by clicking on it and that gives you the main toolbar at the top and there are six different tabs. There's the file tab which basically gives you the ticker type so if you wanted to change the ticker to something different you can do so just by typing the letters in there and then hitting go and that's BHP Billiton. You've then got the period types, you've also got the chart types so I'm going to change this to candle chart because for the purpose of this demonstration I think candles are much more visually um, appealing than basic line charts which just show the closing price of any given day. They don't actually show you the full picture. A line chart will show you a list of closing prices. A bar chart or a candle chart will show you the open high low close for each individual event. Now in this case we'll go to the settings and you can see that the tick frequency is daily. Now I can change that. I can make that daily, weekly or monthly or I can also change the time frame of what I'm looking at from six months, say 10 days. Now daily obviously is far too short term for something like 10, day, 10 days so I'm going to use 30 minutes and it gives me a much more in-depth look at what BHP looks like over a 10 minute basis. What we can also do, we've got the comparisons tab which allows you to overlay um, either sector charts or index charts to see if there's any correlation between the sector and the stock in question. So in the case of BHP I could do mining for example and put a mining chart over the top of the Billiton stock over the same period and as you can see straight away there's a very good correlation between the mining sector unsurprisingly and BHP. And I'll just turn that off like so. What I can also do is I can impose another stock, superimpose another stock on top of it. So if I type in Rio in ticker, it then gives me the option to overlay Rio Tinto's price on top of BHP's, like so. If I then want to remove that, I just highlight it, hit the delete key, hit go, and the correlation is removed. Annotations I'm going to skip over now. I'm going to go to drawing lines. Okay, drawing lines is fairly straightforward. What I normally do is I allow the functionality for snapping and extending the lines to be turned on. What that then allows me to do is to select a trend line and I can snap on to the high or the low of the candle in question. Now the cursor, you notice is a little pencil. If you hold the cursor underneath the highlighted candle and left click once, it then allows you to then draw the second point in and click again and that's your first line. Now that particular colour is not particularly great for the purposes of visualisation so what I'm going to do is right click on it and I'm going to change the colour so it's much more appealing on the eye. Okay, So we can now see that there's a nice little uptrend in BHP Billiton and what traders like to do is they like to identify discernible trends in price. Now over the past five or six days or three or four days even BHP has been, been in a steady uptrend and a trend line is a line that has to be drawn between three specific points. Now on this case here I've got one, two, three, four points there. So if I'm looking to trade this stock I would be looking to try and buy above the trend line and if the market then breaks below the trend line I would sell out for a tiny stop loss. So that's how, would you, that's how you use trend lines. You basically link the lows in an uptrend and you link the highs in a downtrend. Now let's look at that over a slightly longer term. Let's first and foremost get rid of the line by 
clicking on the delete key and then clicking once on it. Change the time frame of the chart to slightly longer term. Let's go three months. Okay, so again, um, different time frame. This is a daily chart. Let's go back to the drawing lines on this and see whether or not we can actually determine whether or not we can draw some lines that actually make some sense. Now I can see one straight away. A previous previous highs and lows act as support and resistance. So I'm going to put a horizontal line through the top here. Again, the lines are not particularly great colour, so I'm going to right-click on the line and I'm going to change it like so. Okay, so now that's a red line. Now we can see that when I drew that uptrend there, it's actually approaching a previous high, which would suggest that there would probably be some sort of selling pressure coming in because it's a previous high, and therefore it might be prudent to take some profit or even go short ahead of the line with a stop loss above the line. So again, that's a different way that you can trade the market. We can also draw a longer term trend line through the lows here. Left click once, left click once. Again, change the colour of the line because they're not particularly great. And OK. So we've now got a long term trend line, uptrend line at £18.50. And we've got a long term support and resistance line 2171. Now let's go back slightly further see whether or not those lines actually come in and as you can see about two or three years ago there was a high at 2205 so we can deduce from that that there is a significant amount of selling interest between this 2170 area and this 22 pound area therefore if you're looking to buy BHP Billiton shares I would not be looking to buy them at these sort of levels because uh, on a two-year basis they are quite expensive so let's delete this lower line let's now go and try and draw a longer term line through these lows here to see whether or not we can actually fine-tune our long-term analysis down here got to have a fairly steady hand which fortunately I do and change the color of that line Okay, so since the lows of November 2008, BHP has been in a fairly steady uptrend with support at £18.75 with resistance at £21.70. So we can design a strategy just based on two simple lines. Buy dips towards £18.75 with a stop loss below that. Sell rallies to £21.70, £22 with a stop loss above that. A very simple basic strategy. A lot of traders use these types of strategy to make very quick turns of profits. Anyway, that's a brief introduction to drawing lines, candle charts and changing the time period. I'll cover moving averages and oscillators and other features within the charting in later videos. Hopefully that's given you a good insight. Thanks very much.